I love messing with color, as if y'all couldn't tell. I have been on a quest for an effect that will emulate HDR or high dynamic range imaging. And this is about as close as I've come to it so far. This effect can be used to create very subtle fixes or very dramatic looks. There's a lot in motion that is similar to Photoshop, including a whole complement of blend modes, which enables quite a lot of similar Photoshop-like workflows for video. And a while back, I did a tutorial or three on Photoshop layer channels, painting, and other manipulation. And my 20 years experience with Photoshop has led me to the creation of this motion effect, which I call Color Shop Channels. This effect is basically the same concept as the channels panel in Photoshop. It can also be compared to the tone curves effect. Although not nearly as elegant, there are no on-screen curves to manipulate. But anyone familiar with the basic principles in Photoshop should have an idea of what they're doing. They'll just have to visualize it in their heads. Each source media this effect is applied to is split into three elemental layers, one for reds, one for greens, and one for blues. Each elemental layer can be manipulated in various ways, including a mixer, or dialing in the opacity or channel amount, contrast, luminance levels, blurring, and or sharpening. Each elemental layer is then remixed back into a single layer destination, which can be used either as edited or blended back with the original source media to create the final look. It can also be used to mix various amounts of image color data with another clip placed underneath it in the storyline. It can both sharpen and denoise. The sharpening is not as noticeable as with the sharpening tools I released. However, when it sharpens, it tends only to increase a graininess effect rather than digital compression noise to the media, which is far more preferable. And where there is compression noise or blocking, it can be used to smooth out those problem areas. This seemingly contrary concept is accomplished by sharpening one or two of the color channels while simultaneously blurring any of the channels, but usually the unsharpened channel or channels, and blending the remixed media with the original. Don't expect miracles with this effect. It will, used correctly, make flat looking video look outstanding, and that is its primary purpose. I can't really tell you how to use this effect. You will either need to experiment with it to figure out how it works or do some research on channel operations in Photoshop and find out how tone curves work. Basically, you have to know how RGB color works, how each element interacts with the other two to create the colors you perceive. General guidelines for this effect the overlay opacity is the amount of this effect to remix back with the original or apply over a background if the use source video checkbox is unchecked at the bottom of the parameter list. All the parameters are grouped by color element and the sections are clearly delineated. Pay close attention to your neutrals, grays and white. Blacks will be hard to discern unless there is an obvious cast. When using the sharpening, use small amounts, 1 to 10, and vary the intensity, or use small intensities with higher amounts. You can turn sharpening on and off with a checkbox. Contrast and pivot go together. You can increase the contrast and soften it by pulling back on the pivot value, or vice versa. And then the shadows, mids, and highlights go together as the level controls. I have a few examples queued up and ready to go. I'll go ahead and play this.
I hope you find this effect useful and I'll catch you on the next one.